this is the end as of 5 past 8 p.m. on Friday the 7th of October 2022. Where will my night is out? Review coming on Sunday. <clears throat> I was supposed to do this on Wednesday's video that I forgot I was supposed to do it yesterday's video that I forgot so I'll do it now. When I was in when I was on duty on Friday sorry on Wednesday I mean uh, two of my fellow people who do duty with me uh, one sat on the other's lap and asked me to take a photo I did I sent it to the book of them There's a lot here from Jack. Uh, I'm just going to go from here. Set my photo. Showing that Better Call Saul is gritty. More, okay, I'm, I'm just going to have to show this. I know for a fact that music is not copyrighted because Savage Books use it, used to use it in all his videos. Anyway, and Dylan says it looks good. If you can say it, so can I. Two of my IRL friends got in suspension because they sent Baby Mr. Incredible to 20 staff members and said the time is near. Which would be like, I have a whole life ahead of me. No, you don't. The fog is coming. Not here. It's gonna keep it here. Sorry, Jack. <clears throat> I also sent that video to someone else who was talking about them playing. Uh, Overwatch Two. I was sending two photos going because he was saying the Overwatch Two is free, and I was kind of sending photos later, and I said they're not it's for the time, but no, it it is free. <clears throat> it just it wasn't free at the time I sent the photos. Oh, uh, whoops. I'm scrolling up my phone. I should be scrolling on my tablet. So I sent those photos and said, free my ass. He said, I love you. I said, you too. Sorry, Jordan. There, this school. Yeah. So. In form class, since it's a Friday, I went down to the media teacher's form class and got in today. Someone else was there. <clears throat> uh, I asked for. There was a literacy task on all week where I think what it was is that you pick a non fiction book and write down three facts you learned from reading the book. And uh, one person, okay, more, more people might have done it, but I only got one person for sheet. And it was. <laughs> no, there wasn't much there. <clears throat> Should have wrote it down and said he typed it up, so I had emailed to myself and printed it off. Um, in mentoring, I had sent an email to the mentor yesterday because I, I think I said this in yesterday's video, but I kept on tearing up. Actually, I'm doing it right now. Can't do it. While I was trying to write the script, and emailed the teacher saying, "What can I do?" Um, and then I showed you, like, so I thought what you meant was you have to watch this video, and the video was making you cry, or like a film. But, you know, uh, what is the 
What is your film going to be about? Right? Psychological horror? Oh, no. Dylan, I... They're too scary for me. And she started talking about, like, the Jeffrey Dahmer show on Netflix. I was talking about Daz because her description of what Jeffrey did, because I don't know much about Jeffrey Dahmer. And her description of what he did was similar to what Dennis Nielsen did. We were just talking about Daz. And we were just talking about like much of all the horror movies and true crime shows. <clears throat> at lunch, I have a duty on Friday at lunch as on top of the duty I have on Wednesday, although that sh should be changing soon, I don't know. And... Oh wait. Oh yeah. Um, so... On Wednesday my duty is just being sure the doors are locked with the science. Although, the pro like we stopped doing that because there's so many teachers going in now, there's no point in locking them. Just, we're just not letting anyone pass through. Because really, it shouldn't be locked. Oh, but there's classes on. And the people who are on their lunch and tennis classes are on are just going to be noisy. Well, guess what? There are other classes on elsewhere. And they, they are also disturbed by people screaming next to the windows unintentionally. Um, I was supposed to have a partner for doing it down in English today. I didn't. I just realized that he actually went home, I think, earlier. So that's why. But I don't know. Uh, it was during then that I finished City of Bones, the book. It is fantastic. It's great. If only there was a good adaption of it. Like, the movie's alright and the show's terrible. That's all I'm gonna say. In English, I got my copy of The Road. I tried reading it. Couldn't un couldn't really understand it. I'm gonna watch the movie. To help me. Because, like, I understood most of No Country for Old Men because the scenes I remembered from the movie. I'm hoping it's gonna be the same with this. And I was going to say stuff about the movie because I've already seen like half of it. But I'm not going to until I actually finish it and do the review for it. Yeah, that, that's it, I think. This Twitter as of 13 past 8 p.m. Oh, God. Biden announced his executive order pardoning Americans convicted of simple marijuana possession under federal law. Well, hmm. I'm. I don't know where I stand on, on weed. I'm allowed or not to be legal. So I'm, I'm not going to say anything about this. Obviously. Marcus is going to be Hey, please. Joe did something good for once. Anyway, pedo Putin. But is, Pu is Putin a pedo? Look at a shooting star I was trying to... was Russian. It's in a Fiat. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, the same people to call Putin a pedophile after that are also the same people to just completely ignore the... There's, like, there's more evidence of Biden being a pedo than there is Putin. And the pictures of Biden being a pedo was quite similar to the pictures of Putin being a pedo. And yet they ignore the... The photos of Biden being a pedo because it's convenient for them.
Oh, okay, he's going down to 5k today. 100th anniversary special. Well, I say 100th, but what I mean is that Jody's last episode will air on the 100th anniversary of the BBC. It'll be the 18th, that's 11 days. Ah, oh, okay. I went through all Paul's tweets from yesterday and yesterday's video. He's done a hell of a lot today. The war in Ukraine is quickly escalating into a wider horror. And from what I can see, practically nobody in this chamber is doing anything to prevent it. In fact, most people seem to get off on the fact that it's escalating. And at this precise moment, of course, as usual, the voices challenging the rush to war are attacked and silenced, smeared as traitors, cronies, Putin puppets, Kremlin stooges, Russian ages. Frankly, it's pathetic. And I don't make the comparison lightly, but the crudeness and cynicism of these slurs coming from mainstream EU parties might as well have been written by Hermann Goring, who infamously said that even though people never want war, they can be brought to war with threats and smears. He said, all you have to do, tell them they're being attacked, denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing their country to danger. It works the same every way. Where he led, you are following. This House should be ashamed of this debate. Words are being twisted, meaning subverted, and the truth turned on its head. Opposing the horrible madness of war is not anti-European. It's not anti-Ukrainian. It's not pro-Russian. It's common sense. The working class of Europe have nothing to gain from this war and everything to lose. And I find it laughable that those calling for arms to Ukraine never call for arms for the people of Palestine or for the people of Yemen. Unlike you, I oppose all war. I want it stopped. I make no apology for that, and I'm not going to be scapegoated and labelled for it. I the only lie here is she said that people aren't speaking out the defending Palestine. They are. Like, you don't see the clip of like uh, John Oliver and everyone else going, eh, "Israel's committing war crimes against the Palestinians." When really it was the Palestinians that commit more crimes against the Israelis. Well, okay, let me. I'm going to. I've explained this multiple times already. I'm going to explain it again. So what? What happened during the Israel-Palestine? Well, the most recent Israel-Palestine conflict was that the Palestinians Palestinians set up all their mortars and all. In civilian areas and in all the cities, and started firing on Israel. And Israel has two choices because of this. They can either one fire back, which would kill more civilians than it would soldiers, or they can just take it and be defeated for not defending themselves. So, yes. Israel did kill civilians, but it's because of the, it is the fault of the Palestinian military, Palestinian government. Zelensky so calling for preemptive NATO strikes on Russia. What do you think they're gonna do? What do you think they're gonna do? Унеможливлювати застосування Росією ядерної зброї. Але, що важливо, я ще раз звертаюся до міжнародної спільноти, як це було до 24-го. Превентивні удари, щоб вони знали, що з ними буде, якщо вони застосують. А не навпаки, чекати ядерних ударів Росію, щоб потім сказати, ах ти так, ну ось тримай від нас. Переглянути застосування свого тиску. Ось я вважаю, що повинна робити над переглянути порядок застосування. Що повинна робити? When I first heard about that, I thought it was the hoax or taken out of context. But no, that's exactly what he's saying. Calling for a nuclear first strike against Russia. People 
being stabbed in broad day daylight at 10 in the morning in Rush Hour in the city as recently as five years ago might have elicited a, yeah, some kind of media coverage. Is this the Horn of Africa? Is it okay to stab everyone with no fear of repercussion? It's October 2022 and the US still prohibits unvaccinated legal foreign travelers from entering the country, but freely free really why is illegal travelers around America around America for free? I'm back, I've been MIA due to a serious bout of corona, likely Omicron. Very thankful to be vaccinated and boosted and will continue to mask at home free went. Masking at at your own home. Let's assume you live alone. You have no guests over, ever. What are you doing masking? <sighs> Long corona is no joke. First my skin turned red and blistered, then I got what nurse called corona knee. But now is corona causing the corona knee or the vaccine? Hmm? Vax boosted, wears mask, ends up in the hospital. Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn the volume down. I'm sure I'm going to piss off both left and right, so I apologize. Um, that the fetish for manufacturing is part of the general fetish for keeping white males of low education um, outside the cities in the powerful positions they're in in the U.S. And... Um, that is really what's going on here. Because when you look at the costs of manufacturing, and Susan Hausman and her co-authors have done a lot, not of manufacturing, of trade, and job displacement and community, Susan Hausman and her co-authors have done a lot of work on this, and I'm sure she'll have a different view than I do. But when I look at the so-called costs of the China shock or the costs of the decline in manufacturing, I always think compared to what? For decades, there was enormous displacement of African Americans in this economy. Every time there was a recession, African American unemployment rates shot up much faster and higher than white unemployment rates. Single women were methodically excluded from the workforce, and especially if they became parents, or ghettoed in particular sets of jobs throughout the economy well through the 70s into the 80s. Um, displacements on large scales would happen when technology or trade broke through, like all the secretaries who got replaced by personal computers and other forms of office animation. Uh, excuse me, not animation, automation, excuse me. Um, and these kinds of churn, as the economists put it, never were decried. They never got political attention. They never got much notice. But when it started being the white male manufacturing people in the so-called heartland, which by definition was not urban, um, then suddenly this was a crisis. Another astonishing clip from the Cato Institute event today. This one from influential Adam Posen, head of the Peterson Institute. He says a focus on domestic manufacturing is simply a fetish for keeping white males low education in the powerful positions they are in. Incredible. They admit disenfranchising the white working class and made yourself fear. To hell with these racists. UK warn of the face free R daily. Sorry. Uh, I think I might have read that out wrong. Uh, grammatically speaking. UK warn it could face free R daily blackouts this winter. So every day for the entire winter, the power will go out for free. Ours. So make sure you've got stuff downloaded on your Netflix. Make sure you've got some books around. Do some homework, I guess. If you have coursework that stretches over. Uh, go out. No, probably not go outside. It's going to be freezing. Just, you know, find something to do that doesn't require electricity. They want you to desk. They want to be desperate and dependent. No serious country should have to endure rolling blackouts in 2022. But at least we supported the current thing, eh? So let's get calls on NATO to launch free after strikes against Russia to eliminate the possibility of a Russian nuclear strike. 
like the ones stating the office, Zelensky is game manning Jordan Biden, and all the Western leaders who have used Ukraine as their corruption playground for decades. That's why they protected that projected on Trump during impeachment number one. He's blackmailing us in a nuclear war. Genuine question, who are you more concerned about when it comes to reckless speech and behavior? Putin or Zelensky? Both? Like, equally? Torture chamber in that place. Two photos, a gas mask that was put on the head of a victim who was covered with a smoldering rag and buried alive, and a box of gold dental crowns and many Auschwitz. How many more will be found in occupied Ukraine? When he spoke to the local dentist Sergei in the village about this horror photo, the teeth looked like the ones from my cabinet. My house was looted by Russians. They come from people that I treated all these years. I took these teeth out. The clarification has over 10 times fewer likes and retweets than the Ukraine government's many Auschwitz Russian torture chamber claims. And big tech fact checkers are AWOL. Imagine my shock. Days ago during Fashion Week in Paris, Kanye Comedy by his friend, Francis Hans Owens, unveiled a t-shirt that simply read, White Lives Matter, here's why I did it, I'm not watching the minute video. Also, think there's a clip for a little up. The majority of the media has a godless agenda, Kanye. Yeah, there it is. During his interview with Tucker Carlson last night, Kanye West savaged the Kushner family, accusing former White House advisor Jared Kushner of sabotaging Trump. Nah, let's, let's just, or... If someone thinks it's attractive, to each his own. It's actually clinically unhealthy. And for people to to promote that, um, it's a, it's demonic. You know, what, can I ask? Yeah. I've noticed this also. Yeah. Why do you think they would want to promote unhealthiness among the population? It's a genocide of the black race. They want to kill us in any way they can. Planned Parenthood. And that's the bit where I jump off. Nah. Like, if it were me at that point, instead of saying they want to kill all the black people, I don't believe that. They want to kill everyone, regardless of race. It's about control. Uh, was made by Margaret Sanger, a known eugenics with the KKK, and I believe that if we saw ourselves as more, as we saw ourselves as a people and not a race. I just want to point out something. The people who don't like Kanye because of his politics are the same kind of people who say, you know, the government, the, the American government, and also probably the British government, wants to kill all the black people. Just everywhere in the world. But now that Kanye is saying it, they're probably going to go back on that because, oh, we, you know, we disagree with anything Kanye says because he's a traitor to his race. That crap. Unhealthiness among the population. It's a genocide of the black race. They want to kill us in any way they can. Planned Parenthood was made by Margaret Sanger a known eugenics with the KKK. And I believe that if we saw ourselves as more, as we saw ourselves as a people and not a race, then we would treat our people better. Like if you go to a Jewish person and you say a race, it's, it almost gets confusing. It'll cut you off quickly and say, we're not a race, we're a people. Well, our people are supposed to just say, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Okay, well, what about do you own the land that you're living in? Do you own, is the contract even in a language that's even possibly understandable? Right. You know, for your heritage, you know, and in America, we as blacks will like down each other on how good we speak, but we're speaking English. There's nothing whiter than English. We're not in our native tongue, actually. So we judge each other on white um, goal lines, not based on exactly what our culture is based on.
when he said about uh, killing the black people through making them fat, the problem is, and now, obviously not all black people are from the Caribbean, but Caribbean food is really unhealthy. Like, because I, I was watching the Lotus Eaters talking about this documentary the BBC put out, where David Harewood from, like, Supergirl, Strike Back, Homeland, etc. Because it turns out he's British. <laughs> um, he, he, like, this was a, the start of 2021. He made a documentary for BBC talking about why more black people were dying of corona than white people. And Carl pointed out that it's because Caribbean food is unhealthy. So, the more unhealthy your lifestyle is, the more likely you are to die of corona. Kanye and the culture glorifying obesity. It's demonic. Like, I mean, if you want evidence of glorifying obesity, cat from Euphoria. I don't know what that sound was. I don't think it was my stomach. I think I'm actually been a radiator. Anyway. Moses stuttered. God is not always going to bring the most perfect personality. A lot of times, the most fake people, their job is talking and making people feel comfortable. And the realest people are going to make you feel uncomfortable at first. Kanye. Kanye. The answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. New CDC and Prevention Report. Highlights a record number of children now being hospitalized with common colds due to weakened immune systems. While everyday Americans struggle to face struggle to make ends meet and face record high gas prices, Biden thought it'd be a good idea to put a picture of himself behind the wheel of his gas guzzling classic sports car. Kanye is a huge answer to the demoralization, that's why the regime hates him. Same with Elon Musk. And as much as Elon Musk as much as I hate Elon Musk, I have to agree. Because it's true. Although Elon Musk is only doing it because he wants people to perceive him as a good person. Because if he wasn't doing all this, we would already have pointed out the fact that he is not. Video of a daycare, wor daycare, daycare worker in Mississippi donning a scream-faced Halloween mask. I've, I've never seen Scream. I can tell you Paul's ghost-faced killer. Anyway. And frightening tiny children in tears that sparked gutter, guttural outrage online. Sharon Osborne wants refund after donating 900,000 to this scam BLM. Diagnosis of use was gender dysphoria surge. 2017, 15,000. 2018, additional 3,000. 2019, additional 3,000. 2020, additional 3,000. 2021, additional 18,000. Social engineering. Yeah, the, the pandemic, I think, had everyone's mind. And, I mean, obviously not six years old, but, like, teenagers. If, sorry, I'm, I'm watching the resident in the background and, it keeps on fading to black, and I keep on thinking the bar goes, the bar's going out. Um, but like teenagers, uh, at the start of the pandemic, with porn addictions, like because they they have more time to be able to watch porn, that's what they want to do, and it's gonna get so much to the point where straight porn. Isn't even doing it for them anymore because they've already seen all the straight porn, so they switch to like trans porn and gay porn and, and stuff like that. Stonewall claims that more than a quarter of younger people now identify as gay following its sexuality survey. But wait, I thought people were born gay. How have the numbers risen so significantly in the, in the last decade? The most interesting thing Kanye said was about how celebrities and influencers are manipulated and controlled by handlers to amplify raging narratives.
before I continue Susan this is classical music don't make me remind you that classical music is copy free I'm sorry, but why is the why is the person on the violin playing that? Uh, I don't I don't even know what the lyrics are. There's one of those songs where people were too lazy to look up the lyrics and just made up their own lyrics. Uh, the one that goes like, "Focus, fire a gun." Why is the person on the violin playing that song? So why are the poor monk of war? Animal rebellions, direct action, and Harold's sorry, Harold's self riches and Fortnum's wasting food and creating more work for staff on minimum wage. If football fans did this, it would be this it would be seen as vandalism and it should be the same with these activists. These are just creating a waste. Triple barrel name trust fund babies spoiling food while people in the real world, struggle to make the choice between heating and eating. Sam Richardson is Shaggy, I mean Norville. Constance Wu is Daphne, who is Asian for some reason. Well, I mean, Shaggy is black for some reason. Glenn Hart, oh, Glenn Harton! <laughs> really? It's Fred. First look at Shaggy Daphne. Whoa, you mean Norville? Fred voiced by Sam Richards and Colin Sweet and Glenn Harlan. And HBO Max is an adult animated film series. So, they're making a, a show all about Velma. I don't actually know what the plot is. All I know is that Velma will be a lesbian. Which is probably why. Uh, hold on. I swear to God, I'm gonna get mad for like the next or something. Uh, okay. What I, what I was gonna say is, you know, Thelma's a lesbian, and this is which is probably why they made the show. 
What does, what does it mean by making the sooner a black guy? Do you guys to buy nuclear emergency drugs for 290 million? So, what laws were counterfeit for the apocalypse? The only most situation is clearly getting out of hand. It seems like pride and vanity play at the human fool and his attempt to pose as an expert in Ukraine. He's not trying to pose as an expert in Ukraine. Y'all are trying to pose as an expert in Ukraine. Shut up. Just stop, Elon. It's okay. They may, you overdid something. Just stop. I'm back fighting Ukraine, but not World War Three. Twitter slapped fired for seeding a nuclear exchange by 2022. 